hello in this video i'll teach you how to print a linked list so a linked list will have a node so it will have a data part and it will have a next part which will store the address of the next node so a linked list will look something like this so this will have the address of the next node so this is another node now this will have data and then this will have the address of the next node so this will have the address of the next node and the last node will have null so this is a linked list so let's say we have a linked list which has some data let's say 2 4 5 6 and since it's the first node it will be denoted by head so this is the head node which is the beginning of the linked list and these are the nodes and this is the last node which has null in the address part so what we are going to do is we are going to print the contents of the linked list so our required output is 2 4 5 and 6 this is the output which we require so let me just compare this with a array let's say we have an array which has elements 2 4 5 and 6 so how are we going to print this we know the index location of the first element is 0 this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 so we'll be using a for loop right so we'll have a for loop say int i equal to 0 0 because it is the starting index so for linked list what we'll do we'll do the same for loop here the index are integer values so we put int i here these are nodes so we will create a node say i and here we declare it at 0 because the first address is 0 here the first address is head so we will say head i will start from head what is the second part so here we will give a condition of where it should stop we will say that i should be less than this length of the array right so the length of the array is let's say we have n as a dot length so we'll say i is less than n and here what we have to do now i has to move till the last element right you can see that when i reaches over here and we can see that the address part of this is null so we'll say until i is not equal to null we have to traverse here when i comes and we see it as null we have to stop so this is the terminating condition now the last part is i plus plus we will be incrementing i by one in order to move to the next location right so this is how we used to do in a for loop so for here we have to do we have to make i to move from this node to this node then this node and keep on moving right so we'll say i equal to i dot next why we are doing i dot next say let's say i is here initially because we have said i is equal to head so i will be placed over here so i is also pointing over here now we'll say i equal to i dot next i equal to i dot next what is i dot next i dot next has the address of the next node so when we do i equal to i dot next i will be moving to the next location so now i will be pointing over here so next time when we'll say i equal to i dot next i dot next has the address of this node so i will move from here to here so this is how we will move and this is the for loop so what we will do is we are going to print so we'll say sys out we are going to print i dot data you see that every node has a data part right the data has the values which we need to print so i'll just print i dot data here what we used to do for this for loop we, we used to do sys out a a is the array name and 
the index location. So we can remember it by comparing it with the array. So both are basically same. We are going to start from i equal to zero here. Here we are going to start from head. We are going to check until i is not equal to null. We are going to move, and then this is the statement to make i to move from one location to another. So the same for loop, you can try using a while loop. That's a homework. So if you learned something from this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.